lasers, not a new concept in 2010. In use today in more ways than we ever thought possible just a mere decade ago. Emitting only one color of perfectly aligned photons, laser light can carry TV signals, measure precise architecture, remove cancers non-evasively, play our DVDs, and even reverse time by the simple concept that light creates focused energy. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, at Shino Bay Cosmetic Dermatology and Laser Institute, the future of cosmetic laser technology has arrived. I usually go around the country, Canada, South Central America, teaching laser and light technology. One of the reasons because it's truly my passion. I remember growing up the laser was in movies, Star Trek, Star Wars, and it was science fiction. But yesterday's science fiction is today's science fact. We're living it. We're using light technology pretty much everywhere, lasers everywhere. When you go to the supermarket, the scanners, in the discos, you know, to create a light show, uh, pretty much everywhere you turn, we depend on this light and laser technology. And in medicine, we've been using it a lot and get, getting great results in terms of anti-aging and also to, to treat. The field of lasers has advanced so rapidly in the last 15 years, making the importance of having gold standard training in the use of these sophisticated machines a priority for Dr. Aguilera and his staff. My name is Rich Gorin. I'm CEO of Shino Bay Cosmetic Dermatology and Laser Institute. I used to work for a company called Sinashore, which is one of the world's leading laser companies and manufacturers. They're the innovators of a lot of the technology that you see out on the market today. I've been trained by the laser physicists and scientists that invent a lot of these technologies. The foundation of laser technology began with a brilliant man and his famous coefficient, leading the way for science to make incredible strides in the use of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. There are different types of lasers. It could be a gas, like a CO2. It could be a crystal or glass rod, like an erbium yag. It could be a liquid, like a pulse dye laser, which is actually a dye. We either shoot electricity or light, usually it's light, at this medium, which is inside of a chamber. The electrons get excited. They go to a higher state of energy. And when they come back down to the resting state of energy, they will release energy in the form of a photon. These photons are bouncing around inside of this chamber. The little shutter opens up and the light shoots down the glass fiber and the laser energy is delivered. The use of lasers in cosmetic dermatology makes it possible to target specific afflictions using the basic principles that apply to natural light. Talking about lasers and how laser light technology works, it's very simple. I usually like to illustrate uh, using laser is like playing with a glow-in-the-dark sticker. In order to make that glow-in-the-dark sticker glow, you have to bring it to a source of light and the liquid on the sticker will get excited and when you turn off the light, you will emit light. So now let's pretend that the light emitted by the glow-in-the-dark sticker is a rainbow. You're trying to get one of those lights from the rainbow, isolate it, and use it to our advantage to destroy only the target in question. It's called selective phototermolysis, where you use a wavelength that has affinity for the target, but also will respect the skin tone of the patient and leave all the other structures under the skin unharmed, only harming the target. Medical laser technology has the potential to change the future of traditional medical practice in all areas, including the treatment of skin cancer. The technology is amazing because if you think about it, we get most of the sun damage or the photo damage and the skin cancers from light, sunlight. So that what amazes me is that we can isolate some of those wavelengths of light and use it to our advantage. So it's just like when a, when a firefighter fight fire with fire. So basically the same idea, treating light damage with light for skin rejuvenation and getting rid of precancerous cells and cancers. For more information about cosmetic dermatology, please log on to askthespecialist.tv.